what polyglots shouldn't do. Well, today in this video I'm gonna talk about what polyglots shouldn't do, in my opinion. Well, first of all, polyglots shouldn't demotivate other polyglots. I mean, uh, sometimes uh, we hear, you don't hear words of motivation. Uh, polyglots should encourage others and, and should tell them that um, they're making progresses, they're making progress, that they should keep on doing what they're doing. And instead, uh, they shouldn't demotivate others. Uh, so from time to time, uh, we come across people who try to demotivate us. That's something uh, bad, um, I believe. And, and then, uh, polyglots should do the best that they can, and they shouldn't forget uh, that they were small fish too. So now I'm going to talk uh, pretty in general, okay? I believe that everyone should know that before they were uh, who they are now, the, they were language learners and they still language learners because we're all language learners. So uh, polyglots shouldn't be narcissistic, egocentric, uh, shouldn't be, I mean, egocentric a little bit, that's okay, but being self-righteous and stuff like that, I believe it's not a, it's not a good approach, it's not a... It's not how things work here, uh, or at least it's not how things should work here. Okay, because we're all language learners. Uh, the problem is sometimes people, they, they kind of forget that they were, they were small before they got bigger. Uh, I don't forget by the time I came to Spain, uh, how I spoke Spanish. I spoke Spanish very badly, I, I barely knew Spanish. I remind, I recall going to, going out, having some beers and so, and speaking with people, and I spoke very fast and stuff like that, but then I thought to myself, what the hell was I saying? I mean, was this correct? Was I using grammar correctly? Is this word that I use, are those words that I use correct? Did I just make them up? Uh, stuff like that. Well, uh, anyways, uh, even today, I don't forget, because I come across words and expressions <coughs> Sorry guys, bad weather, bad health. <laughs> uh, so, um, even today, I come across a lot of words and expressions, so I don't forget that even though, despite the fact that I'm near native in Spanish, I can improve, I can always improve. That's something that uh, some polyglots who have achieved a very high level in certain languages they think that they know it all. They think that they know it all, that there's to be, and that's it, that I'm the best one, and stuff like that. Well, uh, to all those polyglots who think that there's the best, there's always someone better than you. Uh, there will be, there will always be someone better than you. And of course, someone worse. Much more worse, of course, but... Uh, to all those polyglots who think that they already know it all, and that they are the only ones who can do that, and no one else can do it, no one else can learn uh, very hard languages just like they did, no one else can learn Chinese like they did, or Arabic like they did, or or whatsoever, or other languages, no one can learn Japanese like they did, or I don't know. So, to those polyglots, they, they better take a look at, um, they better take, buy some slang books, some colloquial, sta colloquial stuff books, because there are, there are a lot available for Chinese and, um, and Japanese uh, to name these two languages, because I want to learn those languages and I want to learn those languages well. So take a look at those uh, colloquialism and stuff like that and you'll see that there's still a lot to learn. So that's it. Polyglots should demotivate others, other polyglots and they shouldn't be... Uh, they should be self-righteous, they should think that they're the best, because there are always someone, uh, there will be always someone uh, defying them to be to become better polyglots. And then, um, talking about language learning tips, well, uh, there's nothing wrong about working as a translator or something like that, uh, I believe. There's nothing wrong about working for a company, yes, that's okay too. But to all those polyglots who, um, there's nothing wrong about giving classes. I mean, there are a lot of people, you gotta make a living. Well, I try to make a living as if I was from Somalia or something like that, if you get the point. So, uh, this, is, this is how I try to make a living. I post videos on internet. 
as maybe I should move to Somalia or to another third world country so I can make a living if you guys get the point but that was my choice that was my choice okay that was my choice I choose to work at home I choose to fo study foreign languages and I got pretty pretty criticized all the time I got pretty pretty criticized not as much as before I thought things would be bad would be worse but they still criticize me so you don't do anything you just study languages and now you make a living and stuff like that and blah 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 because uh, I made my decision my decision is to learn foreign languages and my decision is to post uh, these videos okay is to post these videos is to make uh, this channel available for everyone at least to, to all language learners and that was my decision uh, but I believe that language learning tips uh, should be should be given for free so uh, this is a way of not getting sued and it cause seems like a man doesn't have the right to his own opinion anymore. Uh, what the hell are we? Uh, are we back in the times of uh, Hitler, back in the times of Salazar, back in the times of, um, let's say, of Franco, Mussolini, or are we in the 20 motherfucking first century? A man doesn't have the right to his opinion. So a man will talk, generally will talk about uh, whatever the, he wants to, but it, in a general way, because as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm speaking in a general way. Uh, I prefer not to give names, because I don't make enough. Uh, I don't even uh, make an, uh, I don't even make money every month with YouTube, so I don't have money to pay a lawyer. Okay, so I believe a man has the right to his opinion. I believe a man has the right to his opinion, and I believe that language learning tips should be given for free. Uh, studying methodologies, okay. If you're giving classes, if you're uh, if you're teaching a language online, uh, teaching a language, not uh, not teaching learning language learning tips. Uh, if you're teaching a language, I believe that um, that yes, uh, it's okay. But language learning tips should be provided for free among the YouTube community, polyglot community, and basically that's it. That's what I think polyglot students do. Check it out.